In this video, we are going to show you how to construct a simple stop-start circuit and then show you how to set it up for simulation. The first thing we're going to do is convert our PowerPoint set to a single phase two wire. And you do this by right clicking on the PowerPoint and choosing the appropriate selection here. So we'll uh, convert to single phase two wire. And then now what we want to do is uh, just left click and drag uh, the PowerPoint over a few spaces here to give us some room. Next we're going to place a few wires to start a diagram and to do this we just uh, left click on the dotted line to place a wire and then we'll work on the other side of our circuit here. Okay. Uh, now what we want to do is uh, place a couple symbols so we're going to right click in a grid box to bring up the symbol library and the first symbol we're going to select is a normally closed push button here. Okay. Now we want to select a normally open next to it. And then finally here on this uh, first rung, we're going to pick a standard relay coil. Okay, now we've got our first rung constructed. Now what we want to do is that we're going to place our holding contacts. So we're going to place a couple wires here. Right click in the grid box. And in here we're going to place a normally open contact. Now what we can do, uh, now that we have a few symbols here, we can uh, place a, some labels in there. So we'll just uh, click in the label area above each component here. So this will be a stop button. And this will be our start. And this coil will just go CR1 here. Now the contact, we'll show you this later, um, this will actually take on the same name uh, once we get into the assignment um, option here. So on our uh, last couple rungs here, we're going to place, start by placing a normally closed contact. And on the last part of this rung, we're going to place uh, an indicator light. We'll go with a green one here. Okay, we're going to go one more rung down. So left click for uh, adding your wires here. And then in this rung, we're going to start with a normally open contact. Okay, on this rung, we're going to place a uh, red indicator light. Okay, now that we've got our circuit constructed, we'll go ahead and label uh, these other two components here. So we've got our green light and our red indicator light. Okay, now that we've got the circuit constructed, uh, we're going to show you how to assign contacts to coils. Um, this is an essential uh, move to make before you do the simulation uh, to get everything to function properly. So we'll start with the holding contact here. We'll right click on the contact and we'll choose assignment. Okay, now up here you'll notice uh, several tabs. These are all uh, indicating the different um, types of components you can assign a contact to. We have interval relays, recycling, latching, uh, push buttons, phase monitors. Right here we're in the standard relay tab and this is showing our relay here. Okay, we have uh, an option down below to choose for instantaneous or delayed. We're going to choose instantaneous to start with and then we'll show you a delayed option later. Upon assigning uh, contact to a coil, they're going to uh, take on the same group number here. So you'll see that uh, this here is uh, number one and number one. And you also notice too that we didn't label our contact and now it has taken on the same name as our coil. So we'll do the same thing for these other two contacts. Choose our relay here. Okay, now that our circuit's constructed, uh, we can go ahead and simulate it. Um, we'll go ahead and press the power switch here. Okay, so you'll notice that the power flow over here is going up to the uh, start button. And then on this uh, first rung here, down on our first light, we have that normally closed contact, and it's uh, powering our green light. So now upon hitting the start button, our coil is energized, which changes uh, the state of our contacts. So now we have our red light uh, is uh, working now here down below. So now we're going to shut this down, and we'll show you a delayed option. So what we'll do is on this first one here, we're going to right click on this and modify 
our current assignment that we have going. And on this contact, we're going to choose Delayed. And click OK. Now that we've done that, we have to do one more step. Uh, in the coil, we right click on the coil and we choose Delay Settings. And from here, we can uh, select how long we want to delay to on or delay to off. In this example, we'll set the delay to on to 10 seconds here. And then click OK. And now we can uh, simulate our circuit. And as you see, the power flow is uh, once again uh, going up to the start um, button here. And as soon as we hit start, you'll notice that the coil begins to count down. And if uh, you watch over here, watch this uh, contact as it responds uh, to the coil when it's done here. And that uh, now reacts once that coil has been counted down. Another option we have for simulation, uh, which is helpful for troubleshooting, is uh, on these loads we can right click on there and we can click uh, either defective open or defective shorted. And we'll just go ahead and click on defective shorted and we'll just show you real briefly what happens uh, during simulation. So immediately we're going to have power to this uh, green light here when we hit this power switch. And you'll notice that it says that the main breaker is tripped due to a short in the circuit. And if you like, it can uh, actually isolate the area for viewing. So we click on yes, and then you'll notice that it highlights that area that's uh, shorted in your circuit. And this concludes our uh, basic start-stop circuit tutorial. Thanks.